Tag, you're it. Tag. Today we are doing the travel tag. Travel tag. Travel tag. Uh, some people called it the Wonderlust travel tag, but that's kind of silly. But travel tag. Travel tag. You right, gonna read should, them or you want I me guess, to? Can you can you see them? I can see them. Oh, good. Where was your first plane to? My first plane trip to was from LAX to San Diego. Oh, that was a short trip. It was, it was around 1965. So I would have been six, maybe. And um, my parents had a, a really small inheritance. It was like three, four thousand dollars, which was huge back then. And so none of us had ever been on a plane before. Uh, plane travel was actually pretty new at the time. Mm -hmm. So we got on a plane and uh, flew to uh, jet plane travel was new. So and it was kind of funny because I remember we we taking off and then going down. It was like <laughs> yeah. you just get an arc. You could just. You had no cruise time. It just you just got up to, to altitude and you just came back down. So when you took the real plane plane flight, the first real plane flight was to Philadelphia to visit relatives in 1969. My first plane flight was from New York to California, and that was back in '83. Wow. Yeah. Where have you traveled to that you would love to visit again? I've only ever traveled for... I've never actually got on a plane and traveled for vacation, ever. Well, we came to New York, went to New York one time for it was, vacation. Not really, it was just... It's kind of come to see those relatives, just like I came here. Yeah. And um, I've flown to... Wisconsin for a Dumb Doo Corps show, and uh, that was in 79. Um, I have been I flew to Boston on business, and I can't say I thought any of them was worth visiting again. I went to Boston in February, and it was, it was so cold. Terrible. See, I love Boston, and I've gone to Vermont, but I didn't fly there, I drove there, and I'd love to go to Vermont again. Vermont's beautiful. What are three of your must-have travel items? My cell phone, which I wasn't prepared for this time since I it wasn't really important. But if you have your cell phone, you can pretty much entertain yourself on the phone. But I didn't think to bring a headset, so I couldn't listen to music. I didn't have any movies downloaded on it, and there was no Wi-Fi on the plane, so it was. You can't. You can get Wi-Fi, but you have to pay for it or something. I don't know. So your cell phone. That cell phone. Uh, I don't know. Toothbrush. My wallet. I have had problems holding onto my wallet during flying. Yeah, we lost your wallet last when we went to New York one time. Yeah. Um, my three must-haves now are my cell phone, my camera, and my computer. My com I broke the computer coming here. You didn't break it. Uh, actually, I dropped it. Is that what happened? It was dropped. I even have it on videotape and dropping it. Ooh, so. Where do you want to visit next? Um, well, we always wanted to go to Ireland. Scotland, Ireland. That's a the only vacation destination we really want to go to. Well, I want to go to New Hampshire to visit Lucy Owl and family. I've become very close with them over this past year and a half, two years, however long we've been vlogging now. It'll be the 16th this month. It'll yeah, yeah. Almost two years. Wow. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's where I want to go next, and then Ireland and Scotland and stuff. Um, do you have an interesting I'm lost story? Uh, every time I go out, I'm lost. So. <laughs> I got lost when I was driving from New York to California, and it was just Megan and myself. 
and I got lost on some of the most beautiful roads, back roads in Ohio. I ended up in Amish country. And it was just, I, I'm driving down the road, and yes, there's cars driving down the road, but there's also horse and buggies on the road. So. <laughs> but it was really beautiful. Well, this funny anyway. thing is that the other day I was just complaining that the GPS dropped me off at a railroad track instead of the location, which is really annoying. But, uh, but we've been in situations before GPS where we drove into the desert and got completely lost in the desert oh, and yeah. running out of gas. And we, we have no way of actually figuring out where we are or how to get anywhere. Nowadays, you just pull your phone out and it'll tell you where you are. Not back then. It, it was, we actually had to pull into a, a real sketchy looking uh, uh, store and ask where the hell we were and how do we get back to the freeway. Yeah. That was weird. That was scary. When my dad flew out to drive me back from California to New York when I moved back many years ago, we got lost on some desert roads and it was middle of the night and my dad and I are driving naked and sleeping and flash flood warnings and some strange looking animals crossing what Look what were supposed to be roads, but they were just dirt and rocks. <laughs> just Sasquatch. No, they weren't that big. Maybe a chupacabra. But chupacabra. <laughs> Where would you travel to just to eat the food? I, 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 I can't say I, w I had no of any place just to eat the food. Maine. I've never been to Maine. I know she's into the lobster. They have good but, seafood there. You know, I love Mexican food, but I I was in Guadalajara for a week once with a friend, and they, it, it, some of the food is pretty frightening. So I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't eat in Guadalajara. Don't, don't eat the street tacos. <laughs> don't know what they used for meat. <laughs> okay, is there a place you would never go again? New York in the winter. <laughs> I agree with that one. For him, not me. <laughs> it was a hundred. It was at what? Six? Seventeen below. It was. It was really cold, and I was smoking at the time. Yeah, it was seventeen below, and Kevin smoked cigarettes, and my mother doesn't allow smoking inside the house, so she he had to go outside to smoke. <laughs> but remember, the kids all went for a walk. Yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> I haven't been any place that I would say I'd never want to go again, um, but North Carolina is getting to be one of those places only because of the allergies that I am having here. It's outrageous. Outrageous. If you could take one person with you to travel, who would it be? Oh, come on. That's easy. Okay, other than me. Who would you travel with? I don't know. Just my mom. If I had to take one person to travel with, it all depends on where I was going. Cause, like, just to go to go to Vermont or someplace like that, I don't think Megan would be too thrilled about that. But to go to Vegas or Ireland, Megan would really enjoy that. But I'd love to go someplace with Michelle. Her and I together. I think we'd have some fun. Or Angie and I in Vegas. Oh boy, would we have some fun. Be ready to bail us out of jail. Uh, window aisle or middle seat? Aisle. I used to have to have the window seat, but as I've gotten older and as I've had to use the restrooms more often and I hated disturbing the two people in the middle end on the aisle, Aisle for me too. <clears throat> for sure. Yep. And question number 10. How do you pass the time on the airplane? Um, I basically went through, all, well this time I, I took pictures of me as a zombie on the plane pretty much and I would have posted them from the plane but I couldn't. So I, get, I did when I got off the plane. So because I had nothing to do. I usually listen to music, I chit chat with people, I vlog, I tried coloring but 
the turbulence doesn't work too well with coloring. So, nah. Okay, we'll see you next week on another episode of Tag Tuesday. Bye! Wanna go shut it off? <laughs>